Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna talk about some bike maintenance. Uh, I think it's super important that people know how to take care of their bikes. I like to take care of mine. So with that, uh, I'm just gonna roll out how I wash my bike, how I check everything, how I uh, roll through um, just the chain and different things like that. So let's get started. So first off, uh, a couple tools I have is uh, I use this guy for my cassette. I'll show you how I use it. I know it looks kind of pointless and it's like really use that for your cassette. Um, but this guy works really good at getting between the teeth and getting all that grime and grit junk out. Um, I have a new chain. We're gonna check to see if I need a new one. I'm pretty sure it's about time for a new one. Um, so I'm gonna check that. I have my chain tool to take apart my chain. I have my chain uh, checker as well to check out what's going on there. This also will help me cut it down to length if we need to change it. Um, I also have my White Lightning Epic Ride chain loop is what I use. Um, as you can see, this is my, my towel for chain stuff. And then outside of that, I have just, I use dish soap, I probably shouldn't. Sometimes I use car soap, um, but I use dish soap, get all the grease off, and then I usually re-grease things, obviously with the chain lube right there. And um, I don't use this sponge very often because I find these sponges will scratch your paint job a little bit or just make it look weird. Um, so I use it in the hard to reach areas on the bike uh, very sparingly, but I usually use this big car sponge for most of it. And then obviously I have a bowl for water and just a little tiny towel to dry it off with. And uh, with that, that's all you really need. So I bought an Aura Case uh, traveling bag, love it. <laughs> I was at the airport and on the way home, uh, the flight attendant, or the person checking in our baggage, she goes, uh, hey, it looks like a small bike. And I go, no, it's a massage table. So $25 checking. Anyways, they sent me this cool saddle bag. I now use this for my tubes. I'm not a huge fan of saddle bags, but this is so small. Um, and it really hides up there behind the seat that I was like, I'll give that a shot. We have our, uh, our stuff here. And uh, here's my chain checker, super simple. One side is uh, 0.5, the other side is 0.75. Uh, 0.5, if you if it fits in there, that means you're about halfway done. If it's a 0.75 and it fits in there with some play, your chain is done. So uh, you wanna make sure that you have your chain in your big ring. So to the big ring in the front, you wanna make sure it's in the biggest cog in the back, which would be your 28 or your 26, your 32, whatever your gearing is. Cause what that's gonna do is really gonna stretch out the chain to its maximum. Um, so let's start with 0.5, just put it right there. See here. Okay, he fits in there, which means he's halfway done at least. Use the same exact spot. 0.75 fits as well. So uh, it's time to change our chain. Now the cool thing about, uh, I use KMC chains. They have a link that, you know, it's like one of those quick, quick links. Um, these guys right here are supposed to take those off. Just kind of put it in there, squeeze it, and I'll squeeze it apart. So we just gotta find our link. There he is. go. Donezo. Chain off. This is going to be cleaning the bike so much easier. Um, and I'll put the new chain on afterwards. So I started taking off my wheels first and I, uh, I wash them first. I find doing that, it allows uh, some time for them to dry while you're doing the rest of the bike. Um, make sure you uh, rinse them off first, hose them down. That's what you want to do first. And then, uh, Really make sure to scrub the brake tracks off. These are carbon rims, but still I love trying to get those as clean as I can. Then I can kind of hit all the spokes. Going between the, going between the spokes really quick. Try to get inside hub in here. I rode in Maryland and it was super rainy for a lot of the days. It's awful. Now this is where I use my cool uh, tool right here. So this guy's sick. Uh, just got your little teeth right here and I'll actually take him and go in between. 
really gets in there. Yeah, so I went to Maryland and uh, <clears throat> it was nationals. It was a, uh, it was really good. The problem I had was I got sick probably um, the end of June, last week of June. So that automatically threw me back on fitness a little bit. Um, and then the very next week, I got like a couple days in a riding, and then I had a week where I took a youth pastor, so I took our, our youth kids to summer camp. And uh, there's a fire up there, so I wasn't able to ride at all. So that was a week of just losing fitness. I like to take the brush after that and just go through it, get all the loose pieces out. But I didn't get to ride at all, and then we went back east for nationals, and the first two days it just downpoured the entire time which was not fun. I uh, rode one day in the rain. I didn't have any rain gear, so that sucked. But, uh, showed up for nationals, it was super humbling. I uh, got my butt kicked. <laughs> but now I know what to work on for next year's races, so that'll be good. We'll let that guy dry. It's a fun experience though. Like I, if I went into it with the same fitness and could do it again, I'd do it again for sure. Um, I wasn't far off form. Like I was right there. I just, just those couple of weeks hurt me just a little bit. So right. yeah, how about uh, the Tour de France though? It's funny. Um, I kept telling people, like, I don't think Froome's gonna win. Not that he's not good enough, it's just, since when does someone do, you know, the Jira, win it, and then come back and win the Tour de France? Like, not many people. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's ever been done, so, uh, to see him get, I don't even know what place he got, because I, I was traveling a lot of track of time, but uh, to see him not win, I kind of figured that would happen. This is a good time too when you uh, clean stuff. You can inspect your gear. Make sure you don't have any problems with it. It always sucks when you go to a race or uh, a train ride and all of a sudden something gives. You know, something that you could have saw earlier. All right, now it's time to wash the bike. With your bike, nothing fancy. I love to just close it off. Especially back up in here, get everything done. One thing you do want to make sure you do is scrub those brake pads. You never know what's on them. Um, obviously like road grime and stuff, but uh, you never know if there's anything else on there. Just having good clean brake pads after you have clean rims will make a world of difference. Helps them last a little bit longer too. Really uh, get all the, sometimes you get rocks or something stuck in there and uh, that won't hurt your rims once you get that out. And then just washing them too will Keep them clean and uh, allow them to do their job. See, this is way easier <clears throat> without a chain. So make sure you just get in every little crevice you can. I mean, it's, it's amazing how much crap is on your bike. That's everything. That was super quick, super easy. Yes, love specialized cranks. It's pretty good. Take that. Um, and the bike is done pretty much. Um, I like to take this little little cloth right here and since I don't have the chain on there I can really get in there and clean those wheels the pulley wheels clean those out all right take our towel so simple just grab the bike off
Tundra on the bike. Now it's time to do our chain. So uh, what we need for that is we need to take the old chain, obviously. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just line the chain out and we're gonna put the other new chain with it and we're gonna line that out as well. And what that will do is that will allow me to put the same length chain on there. Because when you buy a new chain, uh, they give you, I think this one's 116 links. Uh, and I'm probably using 112 of them possibly. I can't remember how many I take off. Probably less than that. Uh, but, so we gotta make sure our chain is the right length. Okay, we got our chain right here. Uh, here's our old chain. This guy. We're gonna lay him on the ground. Alright, we found the spot. Alright, we got our chain cut. So, these things are sick. Uh, super easy. Little connector pieces. That's done. So we got our chain on. Uh, time to throw our rear wheel on and then we gotta get that chain locked in place. So in order to get the lock in place, you actually gotta put some weight on it. You hear that pop? It's now locked in place. Now what we'll do is we'll just uh, run through the gearing, make sure everything works appropriately. Uh, now what you can do, it comes with factory lube on these chains. Um, they last a couple days, they don't last forever. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to wipe it down really quick with that dirty towel if I can figure out where I put it. Um, and then after I do that, I'm just gonna throw some of my own chain lube on there really quick and then it should be good to go. Now this chain lube says to wipe it down until all the excess lube is out, like dry, dry. And just like that, our bike is clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope I did a good job. Uh, it's kind of spotty with the camera, but um, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments about uh, tools I used or uh, things I used on the bike itself, just leave them below and I'll get back to you on that. Um, and with that, I think that's everything. So I will see you guys later. See ya. Mm -hmm.